Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Jono. I'm going to be installing a Haltec 750 Elite today inside my RZN 185 Surf. And I'm hiding inside the truck here because it is raining and snowing outside. Welcome to Queenstown. Let's do this. After a few hours of rummaging through paperwork, doing my head in with electricalness, uh, I think I finally have it down packed. Basically, all the information I needed was a printout of all the codes for the ECU pinout of my 3RZ. So this is basically telling me what the code is and what its function is. It lets me understand the next piece, which is the full wiring diagram for the engine control module on the 3RZ. So after wrapping my head around that, I could then find out what I do need and don't need. Uh, a lot of it I don't need. It kind of blew my mind how little I actually needed to run an engine which is then recorded on this one, highlighted, gone through. This is the pinout for my ECU's plug. So I've then gone through, recorded everything of what it does, where it is, what color the cable is, and then highlighted the actual ones I do need. So there's that one. This one is the Haltech 750 Elite's pinout. So then between these two, I then have to find out which one of these goes into which one of these, which is finally, what I've done here, I have gone through and labeled the pin number on the Haltech unit with what it is, and then next to it, given the pin number of the 3RZ unit and what it is, basically. Now I just need to go through, cut all these ones out, plug them into these ones, and we should be good to go. However, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. Should we get into it? Welcome back. So I got a huge smile on my face because I've been mucking around for the last 20 minutes uh, trying to find out why this thing wouldn't have power after I did all the bits. Been double checking everything and to be honest <laughs> none of the, well only some, but not all the uh, references here line up with the references on my other sheet which line up with the references on my other sheet again. So it seems like there's been a lot of differences and colors difference and whatnot but after a while I found the issue there is a ground down here down way down there all the way all the way down here it originally was meant to be mounted here but I've removed it from there and grounded it down there and that's the ground to well it was it had three wires on it so it's probably all three grounds that I've put into the ECU which now means that when we turn the key ugh, ugh, our ECU has power! Woo -wee. So that's cool. That's step one done. We've got power to the ECU. Step two is now to get from power from the ECU to everything else. So one way to check if that works is very sketchily see if it... And it doesn't. So there we go. So that's the next issue is to get that to do start of things. And uh, that could take some time. Well, it looks like, so when I pulled everything apart to put the turbo in there, I took the starter out because I knew the starter was on the way out. Um, and I thought, well, I don't really want to buy a new one now. So I just cleaned it up and put it back in there, but I didn't test whether it actually works or not. And I'm thinking it's, it doesn't basically. So I can get power from this thing and all through the starter and yada yada. So I can, it'll extend, but it won't spin. Once we've got a new starter, then we can find out whether this is actually plugged in properly or not. Uh, so in the meantime, Haltech 750 Elite. I'm excited. I'm glad I've got power to it now. It's a little fiddly. But this was actually a far easier process than I thought it was. I'd been daunting it for, for weeks. Um, trying to wrap my head around all this. And I thought, finally, even that first snip, that was... That was Oh, yeah, it makes your heart skip a beat. Can't go back now. Um, but it is actually really simple to do. I've got, you know, wires hanging around everywhere, but I just needed to run. Big shout out to Haltech for helping me with the kit, supplying the kit. Uh, I, what I've been using is actually their crimpers. You can get their crimp set. And so I've been utilizing them. They are actually amazing. Um, I'm actually really happy with them. They're really nice to use. Real simple to use. It also comes with the deep pinning set. So in the event that I do screw something up, I can repin things pretty easily. But that's the Haltech install. Um, 
I wish we could start it. I will work on that. <laughs> I'm so gutted. 